Hello there, this is David V over at RMC, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to play the intro to Do I Wanna Know by the Arctic Monkeys. I consider this one of the coolest guitar riffs of the 2010s, and if you've been learning your scales, it's a good modern example of the G minor pentatonic. In order to follow along this tutorial though, you should be able to read tab and know a bit about basic hammer-on and slide techniques. I'm gonna spend most of this lesson focusing on the grace note hammer-ons because this song is a great example of them. And you don't always get to see those notated in a nice riff like this one. So now, let's get into it. All right, you get a measure of rest because the drums start this one off, and then a three count before this pickup. We're gonna start with a hammer-on, first to third fret, followed by a first fret in the fifth string, and ending that phrase with third fret on the sixth string. Notice the third fret falls on beat one. So we would count that one and two and three and. This next part has the same three notes as the pickup in the last measure, but I'm actually starting it an eighth note earlier, counting one and two and three, instead of in that first measure where I counted one and two and three and. After that, we encounter our first grace note hammer-on. That little first fret note is the grace note. It's meant to be hammered to the third fret quick so that we can only actually notate the third fret like this. This then takes us to that first fret fifth string on beat one of the next measure. Now this next part, I'm gonna make the same motion with my left hand, just on the third and fifth frets of the fifth string. So we have this, same motion over here. That leap may take a little bit of practice. I would spend some time repeating it. Next, we hammer on into the next measure. I looked first to third, open D string, third fret, A string. Now for our last main challenge. Hammer on, first to third fret, and then slide up to the fifth. Hear that is again. Then we have the grace note hammer on, three to five. And then we end on third fret of the sixth string. So that whole little ending was. Now, after that, what you're looking at is the pickup for starting the riff over again. So that's it. Now let's put it all together. We're going to start it off at 50% speed, half speed here. All right, now let's try that at about 70% speed, almost three quarters. Let's try that full speed. Here we go. Have fun trying out this riff. I recommend playing it with a bit of drive and maybe an octavizer if you have one. Alex Turner actually performs this one on a 12 string guitar. That gives it the octave sound you hear. So be sure to check out live performances of it to see that in action. I hope you learned something today and I hope to see you next time.